Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 7 of the Discord bot tutorial in TypeScript. So in this episode we're going to be making basically audit logs because in one of our previous videos someone actually requested that we show how the events work pretty much in Discord of Cairo. Even though we've already done a ready listener, we're going to show you how to make another listener. So let's do the message delete event so we want the message delete listener dot ts then like we did in the ready listener I'd show you some good stuff now we're going to import listener from discord of Cairo but I'll type it all out for you so listener from discord of Cairo and then you want to export default class and then this class is going to be called message delete listener which is going to extend that listener class that we just imported and then within that we're going to have a public constructor and within that we're going to have a super which is going to be the event name which is going to be message delete then we're going to have an object within this super so we want the event which is going to be message delete then we want an emitter which is going to be the client and the category which is going to be the client like so from there now we've done our constructor we can now create the execute function so we're going to do public execute and this is just going to return probably a yeah let's say a promise message now we want to actually import message from discord.js this is HostingBot, a cheap, fast and reliable hosting company. They provide many services such as virtual private servers, hybrid servers, dedicated servers and website hosting. Starting at such a cheap price, you can get a 10 gigabit per second port speed. This is perfect for music bots. Perhaps you cannot afford a price like this. Maybe we can interest you with 30% off each month. Enter the code VOLTREX in the promo code and you will be able to get this VPS as low as just over $3 a month. If you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. And now we can put within our parameters old message, which is going to be an instance of a message. The same here with the new message. No, this is a message delete listener. There is no new and old message. My bad. It's just message. However, on the message update event, you'd have old message and new message. Will be message, old message, new, whatever you want to name it. But here we are now with our message. I'm going to be using embeds. So, message embed. And now, I'm also going to get text channel. Now, how you guys would probably do it is use the channel ID. So, you'd probably do const channel it's an instance of a text channel and you'd probably do this dot client dot channels dot cache dot get and you would normally put an ID there so you can do that or you can find it by a channel name but that also involves you getting the guild so I'm going to get the channel ID now and then we're going to paste the ID in here and then you want to get it as a text channel like so and then you can use the send method on it. So we'll do that now. We're going to do channel.send, which is going to be an instance of a new message embed. And then oh, we want to return that actually. And then that error disappears. So now we can do, let's say, set author message deleted. And then we'll do it as the message.author.tag message.author.display avatar url set dynamic to true because why not uh, honestly I reckon we should fetch the message as well in case it's an old message so we can do await message.fetch so if it's an old message it's, we'll fetch the message and then You'll be able to do everything with it then otherwise you can barely do nothing with it 
Okay, so now we're going to have dot set description and we're going to have the message dot content within it since that could be 2000 characters. Just give it a color and just give it a material red. F4, no, is it F3, 4466? That don't seem right. Tell you what, let's just give it a bright red. So FF0000. Now we can add a field and let's say the author. And then we can have message.author, this will mention them. And then you'll probably want their ID as well. So message.author.id. And we'll set that in line. Then you probably want to know what channel they deleted it from. So the channel. Message.channel. Again, this will mention the channel. And then you probably want the channel ID. So message.channel.id. And we'll inline this too. Finally, we'll set a thumbnail which would be message.author.display avatar url and we'll set that to dynamic like so so just upon testing i come across a little error myself my bad about this message.fetch you can't fetch a deleted message i should have known better this is more for the message update event so yeah my bad you cannot fetch a deleted message so yeah we'll get rid of that Although it might be worth using partials. So we can do if message.partial then we could just simply return. Oh, and we don't we also want to add some else as well. If the author is a bot. We do not want to be like you know logging bots messages now do we? So yeah, make sure you apply that. So now we'll go and test. So here we are in the testing area, so if I type hello world and delete it, and now we have a log right here. That's the deleted message, so this is very useful for moderation. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in episode 8.